gospel music fanfare, the six-day mega concert event will feature live performances by a huge roster of artists, from quartets to soloists, fresh faces to living legend, offering morning worship services, matinees, evening concerts, and annual fan awards show. May 12th through May 17, 2014 at the Center for Rural Development in Somerset, Kentucky. Contact Wilds & Associates at 205-662-4826 or online at www.gospelmusicfanfare.com. Welcome to Music City Gospel Review, the voice he hears. I'm your host and my name is Renee Lee. And once again, we're coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee, Music City capital of the world. We've got a guest lined up for you today that you're going to really enjoy. And many of you are going to recognize him. He's a nationally acclaimed gospel artist. Jonathan Bond from Chattanooga, Tennessee. He's going to start us off with the first song, Good Morning, Lord. Good morning, Lord. I see you kept me through another night. Once again, the sun is shining bright. It's going to be a glorious day. Good morning, Lord. This is another day you've given me. I'm believing that it's going to be a good morning, Lord. I woke up this morning with a thankful heart. I could hardly wait. For the day to start And now I never know What you have in store Cause every day is better and better Than the day before Good morning, Lord I see you kept me through another night oh, Once again the sun is shining bright it's gonna be a glorious day good morning lord this is another day you've given me i'm believing that it's gonna be a good morning lord i find brand new mercy with each new dawn you give me daily grace so I can carry on before the day is done. I love you even more. That's why I wake up singing. Good morning, Lord. Sing it with me. Good morning, Lord. I see you kept me through another night. Once again, the sun is shining bright. It's going to be a glorious day. Good morning, Lord. This is another day you've given me. I'm believing that it's going to be a good morning, Lord. I'm believing that it's going to be a good morning, Lord. Good morning, Lord. The day the Lord has made, we should rejoice and be glad in it. And good morning, Lord, is what you just sang. And Jonathan Beautiful Bond, song. I'm telling. Good reminder. It's a good reminder. <laughs> and you wrote that song. Yeah. We we recorded that song probably five years ago or more around in that time. But uh, I love the song. It's just a reminder every day that we wake up. It's it's a gift of God. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I say that because, ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan writes a lot of his music, and we're going to uh, talk about several things today with, with him, but I wanted to put emphasis before we get into the interview on some things that he's a humble man he might not necessarily say. You're a wonderful, brilliant songwriter, and I respect you greatly for that. Thank you. I love writing. Yes, and you have been nominated multiple times for Dove Awards and Grammy. <laughs> and um, I just want to give kudos to you and kudos to God for that because Absolutely. he opened those doors. Absolutely. He, he's amazing. Yes. <laughs> and you ha uh, also something I wanted to mention before we get started is you come from a musical family and your grandmother sang with a very well-known group also. Yeah. My, my grandmother sang with uh, the Harmonettes. It was an all-ladies quartet years and years ago. My, my grandfather used to sing at the uh, Grand Ole Opry 
before it was called the Grand Ole. It was just the opera oh, wow. here here in Nashville, and uh, used to sing there quite often every Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, he would sing there, so I, I'm so thankful for my heritage. Yes. Did you know when you were a little kid that you were going to sing professionally one day? Lord, no. <laughs> no idea. What but did you I do? Love it. You're out skipping rocks and the, uh, pulling pigtails <laughs> and pulling pranks. I'm sure you, you were. <laughs> yeah, everybody that knows Jonathan knows he is uh, full of life and likes to have fun too. Uh, but tell us a little bit about your um, getting into the music industry. I know that you started Young Harmony. And uh, that's what you were nominated for the awards for. And you were with the Rick Hendricks Company yeah. and had a lot of hits on the radio. You know, um, how, how Young Harmony started, uh, as crazy as this sounds, uh, we traveled for probably six months before we realized we even had a gospel music group. Um, but um, I, I was brought up in church my whole life and, and hated it. I, I, as I was growing up, I, w I wasn't given the option of going to church or not. I was I was raised in a spiritual family, and and they took us to church every uh, every Sunday morning, Sunday night, every time the doors uh, open. Absolutely, every yes. time. And as I look back now, I'm so thankful to have had family that taught me about Jesus. You know, and uh, yes. my mother and dad traveled in Christian music for many years. Um, September the 24th, I was on my way to work. It was raining really hard, an 18 wheeler pulled over in my lane and hit my car. He knocked me across the median into oncoming traffic. Two other cars hit me, and at 1.45 in the afternoon, they pronounced me dead at the scene. At this point, I didn't know Jesus. I had heard a lot about him just because of being raised in the church. Um, but through all of this, physically, I was destroyed. My back broken in nine places. I had an aneurysm. My, my head was cracked. My head was swollen. Um, I had two ribs broken, my arm. I had lost all of my blood except for half a pint. And the most critical part, the doctor said, is that they could not account for 18 and a half minutes with oxygen to the brain. And he said to my mother that day, he said, Miss Bond, there's no way. Um, God brought me through all of that when there was no hope at all. They had pronounced me dead at no the hope. scene. No hope. No hope. It was gone. And um, while they were uh, cleaning me up, my mother who had heard it on the radio, you know, God is amazing how he works yes. and all that, but uh, my, my mother heard on the radio fatal car accident on Highway 2, and uh, she turned to my brother. She said, that's Jonathan. And he said, Mom, how do you know? Because they didn't mention the kind of car. They didn't mention it was a guy. They didn't mention anything uh, except for but fatal mamas car know. accident. Mamas well, know. That, a lot of people say mother's intuition, but I believe it's just God using moms. You yes. know? She went to the hospital there in... Uh, um, Fort Oglethorpe, and she went in and she said, my son was in the car wreck on Battlefield Parkway, and a doctor came out and put his arm around my mother, and he said, Miss Bond, we did all that we could. She said, would you pray with me? And uh, while they were praying, the lady who was cleaning me up ran for help. I began to strangle. and uh, That's how they discovered that you were not dead. That's how they said, wait a minute, something's up. And um, the, I was in a coma, but through all of it, God brought me through it with when, when there was no way possible, he made a way. Through it uh, all. And, and he, he's amazing, yeah. you know. Uh, and I'm so thankful that he took somebody who had nothing to give. Yes. And he said, but I still love you. Yes. You know, and I'm so thankful I've got for plans that. for you. And he's amazing. Yes. Well, you know, we've been trying to get you to come up on the show. We, we've tried to get the dates right, our calendar, your calendar, because I just really felt um, – very strongly of God that somebody that's watching the show needs to hear your testimony here. And I, I know we've only got a couple minutes left, but I want to elaborate a little bit more on that because what would you say to somebody out there that uh, maybe they've been through a serious car accident or a disability and they're feeling like there's uh, nothing left for their life, but see, look at what God did for you when Absolutely. he brought you through it. What would you say to them? Well, you know, uh, one thing I would say to encourage you, no matter your circumstance, you, you've got two options. You can look at your situation or you can look at the healer of that situation. Yes. And I guarantee you, and, and not knowing you or the circumstances, I guarantee you if you take your focus off of the situation and put it on the healer, you'll see a change. No matter what that is, I can't tell you that you will walk again. I can't tell you that you will be able to talk. I can't tell you that your marriage will be mended. I can't tell you any of that. But I can tell you without a doubt, God will bring you through. Yes, he will. He will. He's amazing. And it's so encouraging. Yeah. The hope, just the hope, 
and knowing that if he did it for you, he can do it for someone watching Absolutely. this television show today. Now, we're going to talk some more um, about your life in just a few minutes. We're going to come back. But what we want to do is sing another song. What are you going to sing? This song is my heart. It's entitled, All He's Done For Me. I may act a little different leaving you, but you don't know all that he's done for me yes. and where he's brought me from. Before uh, we sing, what's your website for those that might want to go to the website while we're watching? It's youngharmony.com. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Bond. This is my heart today for you. The other day I overheard someone laugh and say I don't understand why that man sings and carries on that way He'll jump and shout, watch him clap his hands And act so undignified But with a smile on my face, tears in my eyes Here was my reply You don't know all he's done for me Amen. Friends, you don't know how many times God's love has rescued me. He took my life I thought I had destroyed, filled it full of peace and joy. Oh, and you don't know all he's done for me when you go to church and the congregation begins to sing what goes through your mind when I hear you sing look what the Lord has done I remember the time you see y'all I was that one with a heart full of hate I had just about lost my mind So how can I sit still When I hear someone say Come on, let's praise His name Cause after all that God has done for you and me We will never be the same Friends, you don't know all he's done for me you don't know oh you don't know how many times god's love has rescued me he took my life i thought i had time that you go to church and the worship begins I so hope you know it's not just a show to entertain a few of our friends we're just people who know where we'd be had Jesus never come in you would understand more as you see where we are than take a look at where we've been. Friends, you don't know all he's done for me. Look at where he brought you from. You don't know how many times God's love has rescued me he took my life i thought i had destroyed filled it full of peace and joy oh and you don't know all he's done for me oh i wish you knew all that 
that the Lord has done for me. Lord, I kneel before your throne again today, standing in need of your mercy and grace. I found myself in trouble, Lord, I've been led astray, but now I'm trusting you and calling out your name. Lord, I need your grace to pull me through these troubled times. I need your healing on my heart and on my mind. Strength to turn and walk away from this world's sin and shame. I need your mercy. I need your love. Lord, I need your grace. Have you found yourself in places like where I've been? Where you felt like just giving up time and time again? I know you feel defeated. Oh, but God has made a way. He's there for you. Just reach out and say, Lord, I need your grace to pull me through these troubled times. I need your healing on my heart and on my mind strength to turn and walk away from this world's sin and shame i need your mercy i need your love lord i need your grace i need your mercy i need your Lord, I need your grace. That was another amazing song, Jonathan. Thank you again so much for coming to Nashville, Tennessee, and sharing your, your talent, your songwriting ability through the songs, the messages with our viewers. So um, thank you. Thank you for having me. What an opportunity. Mm -hmm. I, I appreciate what you guys are doing. That's awesome. Just sharing the good news of Jesus. That's cool. Yes, because you just never know who you're going to touch out there in television. Uh, now, we've got some things here I want to share with the viewers because you've got some CDs out. And why don't you tell us a little bit about those? I have CDs out. <laughs> uh, I, actually, I have uh, several CDs. You can get them online, youngharmony.com. Or you can go to walmart.com, amazon.com. You're at Walmart. Walmart. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's at Walmart. Saving place. Uh, and I think they're cheaper if you get them on my website. Anyway, but uh, there, it's just different ones. This is one that was nominated for the Grammy. And uh, so mm -hmm. that, that one's here. And then these are the new ones. I've got. Uh, That's an honor, though. Oh, that it's is awesome. such a blessing. Awesome. I'm so glad that the other people got kicked out. Well, whoever was ahead of me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And yeah. he's here in our studio. We are just <laughs> thankful to have you here today. Now, this is a DVD. DVD Where and the book. Okay. Uh, the, the DVD was done uh, in Pigeon Forge. Okay. So, And then the book you can get on Amazon.com as God's well. And God Still God is the name of the book. It's nothing but miracles. Just over and over people, things that we've seen over the years and just love sharing what God has done. Speaking of, uh, I have a, a song. Uh, I love songwriting, but you know, when you hear a song, there's a story behind every song, and you may not know that story, but I got a phone call from a, a lady, and she said, Jonathan, a lady from our church has tried to commit suicide. She was unsuccessful. She's back at home. 
uh, but she won't let any of us in. Would you care to go and talk with her? And we pulled up to this house, and I said, we must have the wrong address. It was a dump. It was falling apart. And I walked to the door, and the lady opened the door, never even looked at us, motioned for us to sit down. She was ready for her lecture. I realized it wasn't that she wouldn't let them in their house. It's that she wouldn't let them in here. We talked just a little bit, and I said, what's the root to all this depression? And she said, look around you. I live in a dump. And she said, those four children have different dads and she said I've lived my life as a prostitute I've been on drugs and alcohol big long story I said the lady that called me said that you'd been going to church with them I said have you given your life to God she said yes I said he's forgiven you she said I can't forgive me I wrote oh, yeah. this song on her couch and the chorus of it is let it go give it to Jesus let it go all the guilt you feel inside you don't have to be defeated. Friend, there's nothing left for you to hide. Just let it go. Wow. She slid down off the couch on her knees and she lifted her hands. And she said, I don't have to live this way, do I? There is nothing in your past that you have to hold on. Let it go. We all have a past. Yes. Let it go. Yes. Look forward to Jesus. And I'm going to tell you something. Jonathan is the real deal. And when I say that, I've known you for many, many years. And I remember singing with you. We opened up together for the Laverne trip. You may not even remember it years ago before <laughs> the nominees and everything. But you haven't changed. Jonathan has always had such a heart mm -hmm. to reach out to people. And I just want to tell you that if you've given up on Christians or the church, Listen to what we're talking about today and know there are people that do care about you and do love you. And Jonathan, pray for you. Email him and let him know. I would love to hear from you. And yes. Jesus loves you. He, he loves you no matter the junk in your past. He loves you. Yes. He, he gave his life for us. Yeah. And what's your email address or web the website? You've got email on the web, right. don't you? You can go to youngharmony.com and just click on the contact and you'll see the, the email address there. I would love to hear from you. Or if any of our uh, fans can go to musiccitygospelreview.com and send us an email there. But we want to make sure you love on Jonathan. Let him know how much you appreciate his music today. Thank and uh, he'll be on reruns here and on the YouTube channel. So you can watch him again there on the web. And uh, you're going to sing us another song in just a few minutes. Thank you again Thank for, you for coming to Nashville. Me. Thank you. Okay, all of you at home, do this right here with me. Or this, or this. Well, I once was lost in sin, oh, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. Well, he bathed my heart in love when he wrote my name up above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Come on and let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our trouble. He's gonna hear our cry. My Lord will answer by and by. When you feel a little prayer will turn it. You're gonna know a little fire is burning. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Well, I may have doubts and tears, and my eyes may be filled with tears. Oh, but Jesus, he's a friend who watches day and night. I know I go to him in prayer, and he knows my and just a little talk with Jesus makes everything all right. Let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our trouble. He's going to hear our cry. My Lord will answer by and by. When you feel a little prayer will turn, you're going to know a little fire is burning. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Let us have a little talk, boy, and let us tell him. He's gonna 
hear your cries, He will answer. By and by, when you hear the little prayer, will turn it. You're gonna know a little fire is burning. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Just a little talk with Jesus. Go on and tell him just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. He will make it all right. Have a little talk with Jesus. It'll make it right. I hope you've enjoyed that song and all the songs today on the program for Jonathan Bond. This special has been great. And uh, we do hope that it inspired you to maybe have that little talk with God. Reconnect with him. Reconnect with your family and friends if you've uh, pulled apart from anyone. Uh, because God is all about love. All these songs gave hope. The testimony gave hope today for all of us. If what God has brought Jonathan through, he'll do for you. Just let him. Check us out online, www.musiccitygospelreview.com. Send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Reruns are at YouTube. Also, Jonathan Bond. Check him out at youngharmony.com. Let him know what you thought. God bless you. See you next week. Gospel Music Fanfare, the six-day mega concert event, will feature live performances by a huge roster of artists from quartets to soloists. Fresh faces to living legends. Gospel Music Fanfare offers morning worship services, matinees, evening concerts, and annual fan awards show. Gospel Music Fanfare, May 12th through May 17, 2014, at the Center for Rural Development in Somerset, Kentucky, featuring The Shepherds, Sneed Family, Wilburn and Wilbur, Risen, Dixie Melody Boys. Tammy Jones Robinette, Phil Cross, and many more. For more information, please contact Wilds and Associates at 205-662-4826 or online at www.gospelmusicfanfare.com.